In this lesson, we are going to create static home screen. What we want to do in this lesson is to create a static product items like this. For each product, there is an image, title, brand, and price. And we are going to place them next to each other and they are responsive too. If you are using mobile version, it's going to be in one column. Let us start with creating UL with products class name. Open index.html inside SRC folder. And inside the main section, what I'm going to do is to create a div. And inside this div, let's create unordered list and set class to products. For Unordered list, we need to have some LIs. Each LI contains one product. LI. Inside this LI, create a div and set the class name to product. So each box is gonna be a div with product class name. If you check the result, you will see that there is an image a title, brand, and price. Let's create separate devs for each section. For image, I'm going to create an anchor first and set address to, let's say, product slash an ID. I just enter ID one. And inside this anchor, I'm going to put an image and set source of image to slash images slash product dash one dot jpeg we are going to put an image inside image folder in src folder and set alt to product one it's image not im yeah like this and we are going to make it self-closing tag after creating image it's time to create product name set class to product dash name and inside this dev create a link and it's gonna be same link as product image and inside this link put product name let's say fit a slim shirt after product name, I'm going to create product brand section div class equal to product dash brand and let's set it to Nike. And the last section is for price div set class to product dash price and put a dollar sign like 59. That's it for the HTML section of product elements. Let's go and copy a product inside image slash. Let's go and put an image inside image folder. Click on Explorer inside SRC, right click new folder and set folder name to images. What I'm going to do is to put an image inside this folder. So, find an image in your computer or over internet from a shirt and put that right here. I just downloaded an image from internet like this and set its name to product-1.jpg and by having this, I'm ready to check the result. Open your browser go to localhost colon 8080 and press enter and as you see this is the result i have a image here the name of product as a link brand and price what we want to do in this step is to add some style to this product and make it like this one we need to add a border at the top, set image size, set font size, 
for title, for brand, and for price. Let's go for them. Open style.css and at the very end, create a comment like products and start by styling products ul. Before adding some style, let's duplicate li's one, two, make it five, three, four, five. So I will have six items, one, two, two, six. In the style.css, first of all, we want to show li's next to each other instead of having in separate rows. To do that, set display to flex. And also, we are going to make them responsive. Set flex wrap to wrap. Also, we do not like to have a bullet point next to HLI. Get rid of them by setting list style type to noun. And we do not like any padding or margin for products. Don't forget we need to set justify content to center to put the stuff next to each other. There's a typo here, flex wrap. Let's check the results. Here is the results. Let's go for next styles. For HLIs inside products class, I'm going to set flex to 0 to 0, 1, 30 rem. It set the maximum width for each product to 300 pixel. Set margin to 1 rem. And remove margin button. We do not need margin button. And set height to 42 rem. And the last change is going to be putting a border above HLI. Border top equal to 0 0.2 rem. It's going to be 2 pixel and make it gray. E0, E0, E0. And the style of this border is going to be solid. Let's check the result. It's like this but we need to set the image size to have them in the screen. It's time to style the product in the index.html. We have product class and let's style that product. We are going to set display to flex, but this time the flex direction is column because we are going to put item in separate lines inside a product flex direction to column and set justify content to space around you know it just create a space between image price title and brand and set height to full height like this don't forget for product put a dot because it's a class and after that for image inside product I'm going to set maximum height to 26 rem and maximum width to 22 rem. Also create a margin from top to 2 rem because it's not going to stick to top border. By having this, we are going to check result. Aha, uh -huh. you see, this time it's going to get similar to this one. It's time to add a style for product name, brand, and price. For product name, I'm going to set line height to 2.2 rem. It's for multi-line product names. For product brand, what we want to do is to make the font size small and color gray. Font size is 1.2 rem and color is gonna be dark gray 
like 808080 for product price make font size a bit bigger because price is important attribute of a price 2 rem great let's style the links for links in the style.css scroll up and right after body create anchor set text decoration to none and when there is hover over a link set color to orange f0 80 you know it should be like this and also the link color is somehow black let's make it like amazon for color i'm going to set color to black if you refresh you can see it's gonna be like this very good we just implemented the home screen like this one for the rating part we're gonna do that in next lessons to make sure it's responsive you can open from more tools in google chrome developer tools and click on this icon to make it in mobile device here i'm checking that in iphone x and if i make it like a hundred percent you can see that it's super responsive and for large devices let's say ipad you know we have two items in a row so it is completely responsive without having any media query in the screen and only by using flexbox that's it for this lesson and for next lesson we are going to render this stuff dynamically using javascript until that lesson bye bye